This video is going to show us how to troubleshoot a uh, Kobo GPS connection, or rather a Kobo connection to a GPS device like this serial GPS converter using Top Hat. In this case I've got Top Hat 2.0 running. Let me show you what all the pieces are. This is a standard trip light, I think, USB to serial converter. So this is the end that would connect to your Cambridge or your Volkslager or whatever. This is a, just a USB end. The USB end goes into this Y adapter. The Y adapter is just any Y adapter off of Amazon with the right ends. It's got the one end that plugs into the back of the Kobo. It's called Micro B. It's got a, uh, this is where the data goes in. So I'm going to plug the data. The data coming from the uh, serial converter into there. And this end is for power. And for power, I've got a, uh, this is just a little 12 to 5 volt converter. It's powered here by a uh, glider battery. Goes into 5 volts. And this little power converter is kind of nice because it's modular. It's just got a USB power adapter. So I can plug this right into my Y adapter here. So now I've got 5 volts going into the Y adapter. I've got my data or my my USB device, which receives serial data, plugged in here. And then I'm going to take this end of it and plug it into the bottom of the Kobo. So now I'm all hooked up and ready to go. It, it won't get any actual GPS data, but it should recognize the device. So to see if, if the Kobo is recognizing the device, I start up Top Hat. This is 2.0. I click on Fly Mode. Okay, and I look at the device and it's actually already set up. So if, if you see anything other than disabled in your device, I want you to start by going to device, clicking on whatever, editing whatever device you have and changing it to disabled. That's important. And then going all the way back to this screen that lists all your devices. And the reason is because it refreshes the list of what devices are attached to it at this screen, but you have to actually you have to go back all the way to the uh, main setup screen for Top Hat. So now it says disabled there. So now I'm going to go back in, click on edit, go to the drop down list, and I see USB 0. And that means well, the fact that I see that USB 0 in the list means that the motherboard on the Kobo recognizes this USB device is plugged into the Kobo. So I can select that and I click OK and it says now it says generic device connected on USB 0. Notice it says no data. No data is OK because obviously there's no data actually arriving here. We don't have a logger hooked up to this. If it said error Error would mean that it doesn't rec that the Kobo motherboard is not recognizing the device. So that's the difference between no data and uh, error. So with this going, assuming we had some RS-232 data in here, we'd be ready to fly. Let me show you what it looks like if you don't have everything set up correctly. So again, I'm going to start at this screen. I'm in fly mode again. I'm going to go into device. And the first thing I'm going to do again is change this to disabled. Okay. And then go back to this screen. So now I'm disabled, which means I'm ready to start testing. And let's just disconnect any one of these three points on the club. So let's disconnect the power, for example. So now I've still got the Kobo connected to the adapter, but because there's no power, it's not going to recognize it. So I'm going to go back into device. Click on Edit. It still says Disabled. I click on the drop-down list. And notice there's no USB 0 option in the list. And that's because the power is not connected. So let me connect the power back up. So now I've got 5 volts coming in here. And we're connected. Notice it does not refresh the list automatically. I have to go back to that main screen. So I'm going to say Cancel. It still says Disabled. I'm going to say Cancel again. And, and 
close all the way back to the main setup screen of Top Hat. Now I'm going to go back into the devices, click on edit, click on the port, and there it is, USB 0. And again, it's in the list because we have 5 volts, we have an actual device attached, and it's all connected to the Kobo. So now again it says no data because we don't have any, any logger actually text attached to it, but we would be ready to fly. Um, here it says GPS not connected because there's no data, but we know that the device is connected. It says no data, TTY USB 0. All we need to do is to take this, which is not going to be covered in this video, and connect it to a GPS logger. Uh, go to the Top Hat Wiki, which is um, tophatsoaring.org, www.tophatsoaring.org, uh, and you can see some photos and part numbers for buying all these parts on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.